Um, during that time, God used, used that terrible thing that happened to him to really change him. Um, when he got out, uh, he took us all to lunch at uh, Long John Silver's because my dad knows how to show us a good time. That's like, uh, <laughs> that's like Captain D's here. The ca- I don't know if there's too many Long John Silver's. Uh, but uh, after we left, uh, my dad had always had that personality of a lot of people would compare him to like Dirty Harry. Like he's just, he always kind of has this look like this and very quiet and, and did kind of look like Clint Eastwood. And, and, um, and we left that and my sister's like, who is that guy? Because his personality had totally changed. He was open, he was joking around. We didn't, frankly, didn't know what to do, how to react to it. And uh, my dad from that point really changed. Uh, we were able to witness to him um, and uh, he really became part of our lives. And, you know, as a kid, there are all these different things that you miss. For me, the one thing that I really missed as a kid that always stuck out to me was playing catch with my dad with a baseball. There was one time I'd I'd snuck a tennis ball into my bag when I'd stayed at um, he and his his, uh, new wife's house and had played catch with a tennis ball for a couple minutes. But I'd really wanted to play catch with a baseball. uh, Has anybody seen the movie The Natural uh, with uh, Robert Redford? You know, my friends, um, all of us loved that movie when we were kids. And, you know, there's the famous iconic scene where he gets up there, he's a lefty, and he goes up and hits the home run to win the pennant. It hits the lights, it shatters. Uh, there's sparks flying everywhere as he's rounding the bases. And everybody, um, all my friends, that was their favorite scene. For me, there's a, for scene that mo- uh, a scene that most people forget about just after that, where he finally gets to play catch with his son, whose childhood he's missed. And I so wanted that. So uh, uh, a, few years, uh, a few years later, I'd, I just turned 30. My uh, daughter was born. And, um, and uh, so everyone came down to uh, her dedication at church. And so my dad came down. My siblings came down. It was a, it was a big event. Uh, before they got there, I said, okay, I'm going to play catch with my dad. So I went out to, uh, to the store. I got a, a glove and a baseball and I bring it home and my dad comes, everybody's there and I completely chicken out. I don't do it. And so, um, uh, his, so they're leaving, his wife's in the car and my dad is getting in the car and literally the door is closing. I said, dad, dad, wait a second. Do you want to go play catch in the backyard? <laughs> and my, my dad, who's very much uh, like, it's not country, it's farmer. Uh, and he's like, well, yeah. So he gets out. <laughs> And we go in the back and we're just, we get to throw a baseball and it's a dream come true for me. And I just, I'm so excited. And then my sister, my older sister says, well, I never got to play catch with dad either. You know, she doesn't want to be left out. So I'm like, okay, here you go. So she started playing catch. My brothers are saying, I, we never got to play catch either. So my dad's down here and the four of us are here just taking turns, handing the glove back and forth. So we all finally got to play catch with my dad. So for us, it was, a, for all of us, it was an amazing moment. Um, uh, and it's a, it's a good thing that we did it when we did. Um, a couple years later, you know, he had a heart attack. My dad had a lot of stuff went wrong with him, but we didn't know that was one of them. And uh, he passed away. And so uh, for us, obviously very difficult. You know, as a person, when you pass away suddenly, you don't have a chance to put everything how you want it, how you want people to see things. And uh, my dad, unfortunately, had to sell his house. We go in uh, to you know, kind of look things over and pick things up, and we go into his office, and right there on his desk is the ball and the glove. And so for us, that really told us that that moment that meant so much to us meant so much to him too. So as you're going about your day and, and looking at different things that you can do, um, don't forget the small stuff. That, you know, sometimes we have these big grand ideas, but the grandest ones are sometimes with our family. Um, realize that God has given you this mindset, the Samaritan's mindset, to go out and make a difference with people. Realize that you've got this toolkit uh, and this, these skill sets that you have that maybe you don't even realize, but take the time to think through those things and see how God can use you in the world. Thank you very much.